Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. Today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be smoking us a pork belly on the Lone Star Grills offset smoker using these. What I got is goju jang, mirin, and we're also gonna be throwing a little bit of soy sauce in there. Now I got this recipe from Mad Scientist Barbecue. I am gonna be throwing some extra goods in there like some of this garlic paste and we're gonna be marinating this for 24 hours and then tomorrow we're gonna to throw it on the Lone Star Grills. Let's get going. We're gonna start out with 10 ounces of mirin. Next up, we're gonna go in with our goju jang. I'm gonna do a pretty good hefty spoonful of that. Now that's, the measurement's up to your liking. I'm just doing a heaping tablespoon there. Before we put that soy sauce in there, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix with, just so we can see what we're doing here. Once we put that soy sauce in there, it's gonna turn real dark and we won't be able to see anything. Now we're gonna pour out that first little mix into there. Now we're gonna add in our 10 ounces of soy sauce. Now this is an extra dark soy sauce. You can use any kind of soy sauce you want, low sodium, light soy sauce. I just think that this premium dark soy sauce just has a better flavor. Now let's give that a dump. And lastly, we're gonna be using some of this chunky garlic paste. Really like using this, uh, cause we won't have any bits. It's almost like a really fine puree. We're gonna do a pretty good hefty bump of that in there. You never have too much garlic, right? Now we'll give all that a whisk about. So this is a pork belly that I had frozen where I had left over from another cook. And this is probably about half of a, one of those whole pork bellies that you get. So I'm not gonna smoke this whole slab of pork belly whole just like this. I'm gonna cut it here down the middle. Roughly equal parts. About right there. I'm not gonna worry about trimming anything up. All right, so we're gonna set these in here. I'm gonna go down, fat side down first, just to get a little bit of marinade on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. All right, let's throw the other one in. It's gonna look, it's already looking delicious. Put your lid on it and we'll see you guys in 24 hours. It's the next day and these pork bellies have been marinating overnight. So what I've done this morning is I've started me a small fire in my offset and then I put a couple of pieces of oak on there. We're about running just a little bit over 200. We're gonna try to bump that temperature down to about 200 degrees. Give these a smoke for one hour and then we're gonna bump up the temperature to 250 degrees. Now about ready to take these pork bellies out and all we're gonna do here is Season them with black pepper. So that soy sauce, as you well know, is salty, so I don't think we need any more salt. So let's get these seasoned up and get them on the pit. All right, we're all seasoned up. Let's put these on the smoker. All right, we're just gonna close her down. Remember, we're going for one hour at 200, and then we're gonna, after an hour, we're gonna bump it up to 250. It's been an hour and a half. We bumped our temp up about 30 minutes ago to 250. So uh, let's just give it a little peek at it. Oh my heavens. That looks absolutely incredible. It's been six hours. We just probed these. They're probing pretty tender. Let's take them off. So I know you guys are anxious for me to cut into these badgers, but let me just tell you, we need to wait at least 20 to 30 minutes 
before we slice into this. So grab a beer, take a seat. So it's been 30 minutes. We're about ready to slice into these jokers. I'm hoping Mad Scientist Barbecue did not let me down. Let's see what we got. I'm just gonna go right here to begin with. So we got these two slices here. Let's. So I do have some Japanese barbecue sauce that I'm gonna put on it, but I'm to be fair, I'm gonna try it without anything first. All right, let's go with this in. All right, all right, here we go. Wow. Mm. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna put it, before I give you my thoughts, let's add some little sweetness on there. Let's take this middle. Mm. Um, wow. Salty, sweet, tender, juicy, pork belly, E-E-E. -E -E. Uh, I mean, how can you go wrong with pork belly? So I know some of these ingredients may not be in your pantry, but it's well worth seeking them out. It's a delicious spin on smoked pork belly. All right, guys, how to smoke pork belly on your offset smoker. Thanks to Mad Scientist Barbecue. Do it.